ready for a rendezvous with the chosen vessel of God, His Grace Alf Lukawa. From the 22nd to the 25th of February 2024, the very essence of God's wisdom, depth, and precision shall manifest through His anointed servant. Through His Grace, Alf Lukawa extends an invitation to partake in the International Visitors Program a divine convergence where souls from every corner of the world shall gather. Your presence is crucial. Secure your place now at 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Santon, South Africa. This moment, pregnant with promise, heralds a new year teeming with boundless breakthroughs, blessings, and unimaginable divine favor. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. Register today at www.alleluiaministries.com. Dial plus 2 711-35705 or plus 27 763-184-777. Come, be part of an extraordinary week where the glory and power of God shall ignite hearts and transform lives. This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Alleluia Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. Just as it was in Scripture, His power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints. Greetings in the name of Jesus. May we rise in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May we rise in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, saints.
together for yourself as we are still traveling we are still pushing we haven't break our fast as yet until six <laughs> hallelujah put your hand together for yourself amen hallelujah somebody look at pastor jp and say we are getting there <laughs> Say so we are getting there. We are getting Hallelujah. there. Hallelujah. Now I want you to give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah, Ministries International. Hallelujah. If you know you are truly blessed, give Jesus a shout of praise. AMI. Hallelujah. 
Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor. Online, you can also do the same thing. You can do this by typing just there. But here, for us who are on site, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. No matter what the enemy may do, I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Holy Ghost service indeed. Hallelujah. We thank God for this moment. We bless God for this moment. And we know that this moment wouldn't, wouldn't have been possible. Me, of you, me and you wouldn't have eaten the way we have. We wouldn't have partook the way we have of the word of God if God did not raise a man. If God did not look upon the nation that we are in right now, if God did not look upon this generation and say, I see a man for such a time as this, I've raised a prophet after my own heart, a shepherd after my own heart to lead my people to destiny. Hallelujah. Well, AMI, I'm talking about your father. I'm talking about your father. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the apostle of faith. I'm talking about my father, Prophet Alf Lukao. Dad, we really love you. We thank God for you. We honor you. You deserve double honor, my father. We will continue to imitate you as you imitate Christ. There are many out there, but the one that we have is just the best. Dad, we love you and we truly love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Indeed, we have the best. We eat from the best yes. because I call him a Bible worker. Yeah. A theologian of notes yeah. is your father, Apostle Af Lukao. Indeed. <laughs> Beside our men of God, we have our beautiful mother, Bishop Celeste Lukao. The woman of God, woman of substance, Mami Dearest, the first lady of Hallelujah Ministries International, from your sons and your daughters across the globe. And those of us in Kelvin View, come on, we want to say, Mama, Kamata Bizu, we love you and we celebrate you dearly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome once again. We'd like to take this moment and do this this way. We want to welcome each and every one of you that is connected online. Those of you who are on Facebook, this is your time. This is your moment. You are truly too blessed to be cursed. Those of you on Instagram, you are also welcome. Please do share this moment. Be an evangelist that God has set you to be in your capacity right now. Bless someone by sharing this link. And those of you who are on X, please make sure that this trends. Make sure that Jesus trends. Make sure that somebody somewhere who is down and trodden knows that they are too blessed to be cursed because of what Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. Amen. Our beautiful family on AMI TV, you are simply the best. We love you. We bless God for you. Continue to remain tuned. Continue to remain connected. You know, connect to the altar. Follow the prophetic is what the man of God said. And God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man. Now you may cast your eyes on the screen for the announcement. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. 
And lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home cells held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home cell, please either call the office or go to the home cell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Get ready for a rendezvous with the chosen vessel of God, His Grace Alf Lukawa. From the 22nd to the 25th of February 2024, the very essence of God's wisdom, depth, and precision shall manifest through his anointed servant. Through his grace, Alf Lukau extends an invitation to partake in the International Visitors Program, a divine convergence where souls from every corner of the world shall gather. Your presence is crucial. Secure your place now at 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Santon, South Africa. This moment, pregnant with promise, heralds a new year teeming with boundless breakthroughs, blessings, and unimaginable divine favor. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. Register today at www.alleluiaministries.com. Dial plus 2 711 35705 or plus 27 763 184-777 Come, be part of an extraordinary week where the glory and power of God shall ignite hearts and transform lives. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Hallelujah. Give God the highest praise. Give him glory, for he is a good God. He is the God who has redeemed you. He is the God who speaks a word over your life. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. Once again, AMI, can we give God glory? Hallelujah. 
We thank God for the blessing that he has given us. We thank God for the supreme anointing that he has given us on this altar as our guardian, the guardian of this altar, our spiritual father, our man of God, Pastor Alf Lukau, our general overseer. Can you honor your father, please? Can I ask that we honor him again so that we may give him the double honor that is due to him? Daddy, we love you. We honor you. We thank you for always standing on the word of the Lord and teaching us the word by fire, by force. Daddy, you are together for life. Amen. We also have a mother in this house, a mother in Zion, a powerful woman of God, a woman of God that I believe is a terrorist in the camp of the enemy. I believe everywhere the devil has posters of her put up saying wanted, right? Because she's just terrorizing his kingdom, amen? amen. Mommy, we love you very much and we thank God for you, amen. Now family, we are in day 21 of our fast. Day 21 of our fast, we've made it over the hill, our father says. May in this day, as the Lord did with Daniel, may what you have been praying for manifest today in the name of Jesus. In the second service, our father was at pains to explain to us how important altars are, how important your offering is. Amen? It, it took time to explain that even your enemies know that their offering has the power to pull you down. Now, family, I want to urge you and I want to remind you of what the Lord said. Our spiritual father always says, you cannot have what God says have unless you do what God says do. Amen? So your obedience is very important. Our father taught us that you are so blessed that you cannot be cursed. And you are so blessed that you cannot be unblessed. Even the one who wants to remove the blessing from you cannot do so. Now, family, I want you to know that God blesses you because he loves you. Oftentimes, when we are troubled, we take our battles to the Lord. We say, I leave this in God's hand. I leave this battle in the hands of the Lord. And today I just want to find out whether that is all you ever put in God's hands. Is it only your battles or do you sometimes put something in his hands to bless him? So I want you, family, to remember that this is your opportunity to put something different in the hands of God this time. Something to bless the God whom you love, the God who loves you, the God who says you are too blessed to be cursed. Hallelujah. So family, if you have your tithes, your first fruit, or your thanksgiving offering, I invite you now to come forward and drop it on the altar. If you didn't get the opportunity to give it in the first service or the second service, I pray that you may bring it now. And the Lord bless you as you do so. But for those of you who have their love offering on them, those of you online who have not forgotten about you, if you have your love offering, I pray that you may take it out at this point and just wave it before God. Lift it up and wave it before God as we pray over it. Family, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor. We bless you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the word that you have spoken over us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a blessing that cannot be reversed. Thank you, Lord, for making us uncursable in this season. Today, O oh God, we enter your throne room with thanksgiving in our hands, Lord, with our offering in our hands. Lord, we are here to say that we love you and we honor you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your blessing. As we do so, Lord, I pray that you may bless each and every one giving to you today. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you may bless them, Lord, in such a way that they will never forget it. May the blessing you give them today, Lord, have no reference in Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you may meet each and every child of yours at the point of their need in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You may give.
May we all rise?
cry, holy, holy, holy. Jesus, we honor you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Receive in this day all the glory and the praise. Yama Zerebe Kanta, 21 days seeking your face. They looked to you and were radiant. The faces were not covered with shame. Praise be to God. Yeah. 
Father. We give you glory, God. We give you praise. We honor you for who you are. Yes, Lord. For your blessing in our lives, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your hand upon us. Thank you for your vested word in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. So we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor now and ever. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And together we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. May the Lord be glorified. As we go through the word of God and take a moment in the presence of God, it is with uh, great sadness that we all heard of the passing of the president of Namibia, 82 years old, a man who has uh, significantly impacted his people, a man who has uh, devoted his life in serving his people, the people of Namibia, the people of Africa and the people of this generation. Many of us here recall his many speeches. He stand for what is right and for God's people, the people of Namibia, the people of Africa is great. So to all those in Namibia, you want to say sincerely that we are standing with you, feeling your pain. At 82 years old, passing in a way, the head of state, His Excellency, the first citizen of Namibia has gone to glory. Maybe very harsh and very difficult, but we also see longevity. I want to take a moment and just pray for those in Namibia, those in our time, who directly or indirectly feel the pain of this great loss, that God may manifest His goodness. Lord, we pray you comfort those in tears. I pray, O oh God, for Namibia. I pray for your people. In a moment of this great loss, comfort your people. Be with them. Strengthen them. I pray it to be so. May Namibia be blessed. May what is ahead be even better and more glorious. May the country be united. In Jesus' name we pray, and together we say amen. Amen. Hallelujah, ministries. God bless you. Glory to Jesus. If somebody say, Balak will not have it his way. Balak will not have it his way. Balak is a king who was threatened by Israel. It doesn't matter who's threatened by your well-being. It doesn't matter who feels that if you have, it means they will never have. God has said yes to you. Nobody can say no. I perceive it. In the quest of seeing Israel down, Balak went to involve a greedy but yet true man of God. He went to call Balaam because Balaam was a seer. He was not an Israelite but he was one who knew the code the spiritual realm has codes right because he knew the codes he had manifested the supernatural power before he went to him not to say bless me also so that as Israel is blessed that their God may be my God no he called on him that he may stop the growth of Israel, the progress of Israel, the uplifting of Israel, whoever directly or indirectly stands against your progress, 
fire in Jesus name fire Israel did not engage with Balak but Balak went to see Balaam he embarked on the, a process he joined a journey he set aside time and resources just to stop the one the Lord has chosen they will try you they will never win over you in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare it to be so in the name of Jesus I receive it Balaam could have not come but as Balak came to call for him he sent also a lot of wealth the Bible calls it fees of divinity it is like fee for the prophet to prophesy if you are a prophet that prophesies motivated by fee you will be just like a balam mm. if you are one who does the things only when you know what you're getting out of it you just like a balam some of us do not serve god because we are paid we don't serve god because we have uploads we do not serve god because of an offering meaning with or without i will still serve god i will save it Amen. if whatever thing you do spiritually is determined or it's conditioned by what you get you are a balam jesus ask yourself if i don't get what i normally get out of what i do will i still be doing it mm. if the answer is no you are an infected balam bringing in infection and you will destroy just like balam the destroyer of people oh, we don't sing because we get mm -mm. we don't praise because we get i'm not an intercessor because i will get yes i don't preach because i will get I don't prophesy because I will get. Jesus. Oh, well, if a pastor is blessed, thank God. And the blessing that he receives will come back to the one who has blessed him because God is a faithful God. I will save it. But that pastor is not a pastor because he gets something mm. from the people he gets. Oh, well, no one gives me an offering, but I'm still here preaching. I don't Hallelujah. need an offering to motivate me. I'm too motivated for your offering. I receive it. Are you hearing me? Yes. So Balaam was compromised by just looking of what he could gain out of it. If you do not have the position you have anymore and you have to sit right at the back of the church, will you serve God the same way? Because for somebody else, it may be finance. Another, it will be just fame. If nobody is there to applaud you, nobody is here to mention your name, nobody is here to recognize you, would you still do what God called you genuinely to do? Would you still be able to do it? I will say to myself, empty me, O oh God. Yes. Let oh, it never be about me, who I am, what I have, what I can may i disappear and that jesus cross may appear help us jesus help us, so balaam tried to fall in the trap and give satisfaction to the request of balak but it could not get it from god because it is impossible that those who are fighting you get their go from god Right. Those who are persecuting you are not mandated by God. Right. God may permit certain things. It's part of his permissive will. But nobody goes to God and says, give me a license to kill him. Give me a license to cause him to bleed. Ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God. Those who are attacking you the way they are. 
are not with God. That's right. Those who are persecuting you are not with God. Amen. Those who are trying to cut your life short are not with God. So Balaam could not find mandate from God to curse the children of Israel. So he said to him, how can I curse what God has blessed? Lift your hand and say, I am blessed by God. I am blessed by God. When you know God has blessed you, you may come across a roadblock. Don't be afraid. God is with you. Thank he you has Jesus. blessed you and you will see you through. Who am I speaking to? I say again, I am blessed by God. I am blessed by God. When sorrows come your way, do not be afraid. The Lord your God is no man. He will not lie. He will see you through. I prophesy. God will see you through. I I'm talking to you. I say God will see you through. I, I say it. God will see you through. In Jesus name. The more he opened his mouth, the more blessings came. All that God has for you is to bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that uh, even when God comes to correct you, it does not come to merely punish you, making you pay for the wrong you have done. No. It corrects you, meaning that uh, it brings you to a place where you understand. There is always redemption in everything that God does. That's why if I come and say, I see death in you, I gotta tell you that, but God wants you to live. Right. The prophecy that just comes and brings judgment is short to be a prophecy from God. Yes, God who wants to redeem his people. Yes. Oh, I tell you, this is, this is, this is, this is, you're all about to die now. Preacher, in the name of Jesus, I command a spirit that is moving you toward me going down to leave you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your weakest, God will always make a way of escape. I will God it. will always make a way of escape. Say. This woman was caught in adultery. The law was against her. She had to be stoned. Mm. Died the most painful way. But Jesus. My God. I say, but Jesus. Jesus. Say, woman, where are those who condemn you? She looked left. She looked right. She looked down. She looked up. And answered, they are gone. Mm. The Lord said, I do not condemn you either. Go your way and sin no, no more. Glory to Jesus. Bless in the morning, bless at noon, bless in the afternoon, bless in the evening, bless at that. night. Bless on a rainy day, bless on a shiny day. Bless everywhere you go. You oh, are Jesus. blessed, you cannot be cursed. I receive. I say, you cannot be cursed. Curse. You cannot be cursed. I receive you it. You cannot be cursed. Jesus. Now, is that all that you have for me? Balak is asking Balaam, is this over? You're about to lose your offering. You're about to lose your position in me. You're about to lose your privileges. We will no longer respect you in our community as we used to. Because now you are aligning with those that are threatening us. Is it all, Balaam? Balaam say, hey, I gotta tell you something. Yes. This is the only thing that can bring them to pain. Bring them down. It will not be because God cursed them. And it will not be because you hurt them. It will only be because they hurt themselves. If you can get them renounce on their strength, you will get them down 
where you expect them. For they are made of materials that respond to the communion. As long as they are connected, no matter what you do, the incantations of the night will not pull them down. Jesus. The great grace will not pull them down. Witchcraft no. will not Jesus. wake on them. If you're going to see them down, you must do one thing. Open doors for them to renounce and pollute their own covenant. For a man who has turned his back on God cannot experience God. Right. A man who has detached himself from God cannot have the life of God. You must stop the connection and the energy flow will stop. He began to explain to Balak that uh, there is no wizard strong enough to pull Israel down. There is no wish of the enemy out there that can destroy that marriage, that can destroy that family, that can destroy that finance, that can destroy that ch those children. The only thing that can destroy all that you see is themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, Satan cannot have you. In the name of Jesus. Unless you give yourself to him. Right. Satan cannot break you. Unless you open yourself to him. Yes. A battle is never lost. Unless you give in. Mm. You cannot understand. As long as you remain steady. As long as your eyes are on God. As long as you say, I will follow God, no matter yes. how hard it may get, I will keep my connection. When you abandon your altar, the devil comes your way. That's right. When you turn your back on what the Lord has spoken to you, then Satan has a hand on you. Balaam spoke to Balak and Balak acted accordingly. And Israel did not need witchcraft. They were all stricken by God. Now the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 14. This is what God is saying and is speaking to a church. A church that was one of the churches strong. Though a church, this specific church was a church that had gone through difficulty. The Bible said that... Uh, it was a church where Satan himself dwelled. Persecution took place in there. But they all remained strong in God. But here the word say, but I have a few things against you. Because you have there with you those who hold the doctrine of Balaam. Balaam who was yesterday invited to just pray a curse over Israel had a set a doctrine and the Bible say to the church that withstood the works of the enemy though Satan himself was known to be present in the area oppressing them but as stood you you have among you those who hold the doctrine of Balaam. Balaam who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before his, the children of Israel. To eat things sacrificed to idols. Carry on. And to commit sexual immorality. Now you see, the strategy of Baal, Balaam did not work in just praying. So he taught Balak what to do. He said, get them out of the connection. Get them out of church. Get them out of the vision. Let them feel okay and still feel in God, though they are not connected. Mm. Get them away from praying spirit, away from fasting, away from holiness. Get them just out there. You will weaken them. He say you have among you those who still hold the doctrine of Baham. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people here under the sound of my voice who have been weakened because of the doctrine of Balaam. What did he do? He taught Balak. 
He gave Balak what to do. Wizards know that if they just send that thing that I send, fire will come back to them so they want to get you away from your fire. That's right. They begin to tell you one or two things and you accommodate it. Whoever accommodates, accommodates wrong against his altar. He is a prey to the devil. Whoever stands against his own anointing, you are the foolishest of the fools that exist. Whoever feels that the things of God are just things to comment about, you have touched what you're supposed not to touch, and therefore Balak, who has orchestrated it, will eat you like people eat popcorns or watching a movie. This is how weak you have become. Most that you see out there are like uh, the shell of a car with an engine that is missing. It goes nowhere. The element that makes us strong, the substance that we have disappeared. All that I remain with is a position, is a church membership card. Balak wants to eat you from inside. And he got the cue from Balaam. Gossipers in the church. Gossipers of your own altar. Gossipers of what God is doing in your own house. Where will you go? Jesus. You are no short than those eaten yesterday by Balak. He said, put a stumbling block hear me you can only be stronger with god and with the thing of god it is not possible for you to be stronger when you are away from the things of god between having the things of god working out and not having it having the thing of the things of god makes you stronger meaning coming to church and not coming to church coming to church makes you stronger there will be no way absolutely no way Missing church will make you more spiritual. Amen. Giving to God and not giving to God. It is impossible to put it in the same scale. There will be no way you are stronger not giving to God. Touching the altar and not touching the altar. You are better off touching the altar than not touching the altar. When the yeah. devil comes and begins to tell you, well, you can leave without it you can survive without it touching the anointing and the anointed of god wrongly and taking things in the most sacred way and say i won't touch it i won't get involved you are stronger not putting your nose where your nose is not welcome the doctrine of Balaam is a doctrine that weakens the people who are still aligned in Israel, but they are no longer connected. He said, let them eat things sacrificed to idols. Mm. Meaning, compromise the stand spiritually. What is it that are you feeding your soul with? Oh, well, it is democracy. I do what I want. I come to church. I have never seen a family, a body, a structure standing when everybody needs to want to do whatever they please. With no consequences, nobody's accountable. Christianity will never stand because that is not Christianity according to the word of God. We all have to submit to certain things. Islam will not be Islam if everyone who's part of it wants to do whatever they want to do. Hinduism will not be Hinduism if everybody wants to be free to do what they want to do. I want to sit here. I want to do this. I want to speak this. Nobody minds me. This is the doctrine that has made you weak. We all got to live by certain principles. We all must understand the boundaries permitted by God amen there is no free for aid free for all a church that goes like that is a weak church that will never stand I'm a pastor I, I, I'm here I, I have a voice I, I, I do what I want to do 
Me, I'm here. They, 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 I feel like singing this way. I feel like jumping this way. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as that is, not only that you are destroying you, but also you are not useful to us. Oh, Jesus. You are like a place where we do not have enough parking and you are a car that keeps parking and takes us nowhere. <laughs> We have quickly to identify another church where you'll be suited to go to. This one is not good for you. It's because you want to do it your way. You have fallen prey. You're looking at me. If God would not clip your wings... And I help you empty yourself. I understand humility. Humility that I, your pastor, live by. That you are obliged to live by. Mm. Obliged meaning that you have no choice but live by it. Right. Submission. Holiness. Connection to God. Oh, I just want to do my thing. We'll take you to a bus station. We'll drop you there. <laughs> oh, well, if I'm not here, nothing will happen. That's what you think. You lied. Uh, yes. Oh, you, you lied. An entire house can be compromised. An entire family can be compromised. Marriage can be compromised. Finances can be compromised. When the doctrine of Balaam is taken to heart and is at work. Amen. The compromised, the inside. They began to feed from things offered to idols. But they were still part of Israel. Amen. They started entering into other covenant through sexual immorality with uh, women who were not part of Israel. The Madianites were all around them and they drank together in that. The Bible says, the Lord himself rebuked them. Israel went through pain because of the doctrine of Balaam. It is a call to realign. It is a call to die to self. It is a call for pride to go. It is a call to humble ourselves and say, Oh God, search me and know my heart. Jesus. See if I am still on the right path. Mm. If not, bring me back. Please, Lord. It is a call to say, Lord, as long as I am with you, I am blessed. Mm. May I not depart from your presence. Jesus. It is a time to say, Lord, I will go even deeper. I will cut from me whatever has led me astray for the blessings of God are mine I'm called to flow in it and grow in it as I speak now if you know in your heart there has been somebody teaching your system the ways of Balaam through gossip it doesn't matter if that person has a position in the house of God or in the family, in the society. I beseech you as a voice of God. Delete that person. Cut your closeness. Change. Do not allow the blessing that God has given you to just vanish and the enemy to put a hand against you. You have gone through too much. To still permit things like that. Exit that WhatsApp group. Even if it is in church. Exit it. You speak words that are. You don't know if it's encouraging or discouraging. You tell me. Ah church. <laughs> you have not seen yet. What do you mean? Jesus. What do you mean? Ah. 
tell you, I've been there, I've seen a lot. You have seen what? What is your message, devil? What is your message? Right. Now, you under the sound of my voice, I'm speaking to you. You are hearing something has been against your leader, against your, your altar. Right now, if you don't delete this, this word today will follow you. My God. Mercy on us. Unless you expose that doctrine of Balaam that infiltrates not against the world but to weaken the church, Satan will still prevail. I'm, I'm, I'm your friend, you know, I'm a friend. I'm, I'm saying we can still do that, they all do that, it's okay. It's not about all of them, it's about you, it's leading you to do wrong. Someone once prayed and said, Oh Lord, protect me from my friends because my enemies I know how to deal with. Because you see, sometimes it's a person that you think is good, a balam will bring something to get you weak. Unless you tell me, God. Unless you encourage me on my altar, unless you encourage me in Christian life, I don't want you. I don't want your smell. I don't want your shadow. I don't want your name. I want you out of my life. Jesus. Did you hear that? I want you out of my life. You, you, you take everything that makes you you. Get out of my life. In the name of Jesus. If your eyes is leading you wrong, you do what? Cut it out. Pull it out. And if it is your right hand, you do what? Cut it off. Be radical when it comes to things of the spirit. Yes. Why don't? Why? Why die before your time? Why die before your time? You disconnect, you die. You compromise, you die. Twenty-one days. Fasting can be in vain if ways are not changed. We don't play Jesus. church. We don't play church. I say again, the doctrine of Balaam was I cannot curse them. But you see, if you will come maliciously and begin to lead them out of God, weaken them, get them to compromise. Whatever you wish to see in their lives will multiply. Amen. Oh, pastor, pastor has beautiful shoes. Where did he get it? Really? Is that the message? What are you trying to insinuate? Oh, well, so, so some people here, you see, when you see those sisters, you don't know what they do. They're all the same. Me, 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 I'm holy. When you do that, you're weakening somebody's faith. It's the doctrine of Balaam. Jesus, the drive to pray, the drive to come to the house of God is gone. Someone must love God more because of you. Somebody must pray more because of you. Somebody must give to God more because of you. Somebody must attend a home cell because of you. Some people God must take out from us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell you, some people, oh God, root them out. In Jesus' name. They're good. Learn. So you grow. Mm. It's personal. Everyone is affected. We have devils we are fighting. This person was won by God. Through him, his entire home will be delivered from an oppression that has been there for generations. You, because of your little politics, you come to pollute what God begins to do in this person. And therefore, shut the work of the Holy Spirit in the entire family. You a broom flying person. <laughs> Unless you repent you got up yes 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, daddy, you, you're trying to win me now. You're trying to lose me. I've been trying to win you for these long years. I tell you. You seem to be unwinnable. <laughs> when you are in church and everybody has to compromise just to make you stay. We have to pain. People have to do this. They need to mind. They need to bling. <sighs> What's that? Please stand up. <laughs> Lift your hand. According to yourself, as I say, you know, salvation is something that you choose. Yes. You must know that the enemy is trying to come up with things to make you weak. I have not spoken like this unless it is for your good to get you understand mm. the devil doesn't shoot blank it doesn't this is your spiritual warfare it's not a church politics or well we want the church to be bigger who told you that we want the kingdom of God to be bigger people who are aligned with God some pastors do not live up to the level of a pastor. You are a pastor, so you whatever comes out of you must be representing this at least, this altar, this pulpit. A preacher pastor. If it does not, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Mm. If it's not, who, who do you think you are on my altar? You don't know me. It's a big mistake. A pastor must live in a way that I'm not asking to be perfect, but you must represent that. Yes. What is the work you do? You must be the reason why many have the deliverance, many have the salvation, many are encouraged. Yes. been on my knees seeking God. I pray. I, I try my best. But you have to do your best because you see, Balak has heard that if he leads you wrong mm. in social media, in the community, in the corridors, in the lobby, he'll get you weak. What we are praying here, you are running after things that have no head, no tail. Please understand, most of the people that you have now in your playlist, you met here. That's right, Pastor. You met here? Yes. Some of you, honey, honey, baby. The baby came because you met here. Yes. So if here was not, where would you have met? You, I met you here, you want to be the reason why I miss heaven. Where have you seen that? Terrible. They're casting out devils there. You're seeing the devil go and say, ah, those devils, they go, they come back. Which side are you on? Right. The side of those who are traveling for somebody's deliverance or the side of those who, ah, anything happens. I catch you. I deal with you like David dealt with Goliath, spiritually and physically. In the name of Jesus. I mean it. Did you hear me? I mean it. Oh, I, I, I better leave. I, I also think so. <laughs> Lift your hands. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I, I, I'm blessed. I will not fall in the trap of the enemy. Amen. And while you are praying, begin to think in your system. Whoever you know by the Holy Ghost has been a bad advisor, a bad influence in your life, take a decision today to eject such a thing from you. Mm. Get the infection out of your blood. Pray. Speak to God. 
get that infection out of your blood you will live in the Holy Spirit you will see what God say you will be prophetic you can't be so mixed up and messed up across the globe also prepare your holy communion have your element as we break bread together the doctrine of Balaam 
is one of the greatest danger and threat in Israel. From a godly mouth that speaks God came a trap for his people. Those who walk with God understand the choice is ours. See a place before your life and death. Choose life that you live. You must be guardian of your soul. The Spirit of God, the power of God, is less and less at work in the church body of Christ because of what we have accepted to bring in ourselves. It is shocking when you look in the public platform how men and women speak about servant of God, house of God, things of God, as if we're speaking politics, views. Somebody says, oh wow, that servant of God was caught. And the entire America, 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 you once was used by God to bring forth the word and the fire of God across the globe. Will you turn your back to God? Moving from the sacred, everything becoming showbiz. The sense of what is spiritual must remain in us. What is spiritual comes with a reverence. If the church community in Africa and around the world will lose the sense of sacred, we speak about everybody anyway. We do things just like that. We have earned our liberty to do things. Many of us will keep on dying. A quick introspection. What is it in me, oh God, that I shall fix? Especially things that goes beyond just your character, that touches the sacred, the dangerous. Balak got what he wanted, but he didn't get it because of witchcraft. He got it because Israel stumbled. Don't stumble. Don't complain. Don't mama. A child of God, a servant of God cannot go about murmuring from morning till evening. The greatest price to pay for the anointing goes beyond speaking in tongue is death. God does not trust what is not dead. Because you cannot live new unless you die first. This is why the mystery of baptism is crucial. You die in Christ and you rise with him. Paul said, I died in Christ if I live is no longer I. If you are still full of yourself, even pertaining to the things of God on the altar of God, you have to go back to the cross and say, Lord, Balak has me. And immediately those who love you and love God's house must push you to a place where you go into a retreat. To renew yourself or else you become an impediment for the entire body of Christ. There is no big guy in God. We are only all called to live by submission. I 
cannot be a big pastor. I need to be a good child of God. All I focus is, I gotta be a good child of God. Then the rest, a good child of God tithes, a good child of God gives, a good child of God prays, a good child of God repents, a good child of God is correctable. Since when you cannot be corrected? Since when speaking to you is a crime? Who do you think you are? Who made you that big? Since when? You want to lead and nobody leads you? Where do you think we are? Afghanistan? We break bread recommitting ourselves. We break bread and say, Lord, I can't fall now. I am too blessed to be cursed. I cannot, through my disobedience and ego, allow what witchcraft could not do to me to happen. No. So help me, God. Before we break bread, pray. Let's pray a prayer of recomm recommitment, a prayer of repentance. Pray, speak to God. Don't pray for any other thing. Pray that God may cleanse you, may reconnect you, may make you well, may humble you. That God may rewire you. We are your people, oh God. What had to be done has had already been done in Golgotha. We can fall because of the doctrine of Balaam. No. No. Have mercy on us, oh God. Have mercy. Renew us, oh God, to you. That we live according to your will. Your bread lifted reconnects you to God. Builds you in what God said for you. The blessings of God. As you do this today, I decree, I declare, praying for you. That Balak, with his inspired agenda from Balaam, will not win. The night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Take and eat. This do in remembrance of me. As often as you shall eat of it. Lord, the cross. The cross. This year you told me. I shall remain on the altar. And your people as they connect to the altar and follow the prophetic victory will have in multiple front father your people my father my father your people you may eat the same manner after supper he took the cup and after giving thanks he said this is my blood which is shed for you take and drink this do in remembrance of me as often as you shall drink of it may this cleanse you I decree as guardian of this altar 
that no work of Balaam, no work of Balak will weaken you. As people, you will get to your destination of victory. You will win in this year. May God give you a heart to hear and heed to his voice. May you be purified and cleansed. Every bad influence trying to infect your life, may it be tormented. Every tongue leading you deceitfully, may it be cut. Whoever is anointed by his own wicked emotions to come and lay a weight on you that will stop you from connecting with God. May God root him out of your way. You have an assignment. You have a mission. As your spiritual father, I will not fail. I will not fail in being your cover. I will not fail in being your, your intercessor. I will not fail in being your navigator. If I gotta kick somebody out of the way, it's gone. This year is not last year. This year is not last year. You will win by fire, by force. As you drink this, may the blood cleanse you in Jesus' name. Take your time, lift your hands and pray. May the Lord fulfill his word. May the Lord keep you strong. You are born with greatness and for greatness. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord keep you high. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we go tomorrow to the day 22 and so forth, may God keep on causing his face to shine upon you. May you serve God with honor, with glory, with power. I will save it. Bareba sokoto yi ana mama sete Zeteri ya raba bosoto Rama masere They may try you they will never win over you The name of Jesus Masere be kori ya raba sete I decree and declare you are blessed you are it. blessed and protected. I receive Your soul is protected. In the name of Jesus. The devil trying to hunt and pull down will not find you in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God glorify his name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray, speak to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your word, oh God. Somebody pray in the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the word that gives life. Oh Lord, you sent your word to heal us. You sent your word to deliver us. You sent your word to correct us. Father, we receive the correction, oh God. Lord, help us through this teaching. Lord, for Balaam cannot have us. Father, we didn't labor in vain to go to hell. We refuse that thought in the name of Jesus. Father, whoever, oh God, has come in our way, oh God, to pollute our minds, remove them in the name of Jesus. 
Father, I pray for my spiritual father. Father is doing everything, oh God, to keep us on the winning road for Christ. Lord, teachings, oh God, has gone out. The word of God has gone out for years, oh God. We now have to change. Allow us, oh God, to make that decision. In the name of Jesus, for change will not come any other way. Father, we need to decide that we want to live for you. We are not here for anybody, Lord. We knew nobody when we came here. We are here for Jesus. Therefore, Lord, no illicit covenants under the main covenant in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, any small covenant, Lord, we break it in the name of Jesus. Every evil alliance, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any covenant bringing men and women down, in the name of Jesus, we destroy it. Father, let this word find a place in our hearts. Let us become doers of your word. Help us, O oh Lord. We are not perfect, O oh God, but there are certain things that is no more expected of us. There are certain places we cannot fall in anymore. There are places our names cannot be called anymore. Help the church, O oh God. Help your church. Jesus, you said that you alone shall build your church. Father, we are co-workers. I come under the supreme grace of my Father. And I bless your coming and your going. May the Lord bless you as you take to heart this word online. Take this word serious. Make sure that the decision is yours to want to change. Hell was not designed for any of us. So let us align with God's word. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalom. Get ready for a rendezvous with the chosen vessel of God, His Grace Alf Lukawa. From the 22nd to the 25th of February 2024, the very essence of God's wisdom, depth, and precision shall manifest through his anointed servant. Through his grace, Alf Lukau extends an invitation to partake in the International Visitors Program, a divine convergence where souls from every corner of the world shall gather. Your presence is crucial. Secure your place now at 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Santon, South Africa. This moment, pregnant with promise, heralds a new year teeming with boundless breakthroughs, blessings, and unimaginable divine favor. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. Register today at www.alleluiaministries.com. Dial plus 2 711 35705 or plus 27 763 184-777. Come, be part of an extraordinary week where the glory and power of God shall ignite hearts and transform lives. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www. Dot ministries dot com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune in to our next broadcast. Stay blessed.